start things off at number 10 as we look at the 10 most unusual unboxings we've done of the year. And look at the sole plate on these things. These are unusual. Now, they're not a football boot. We have got some football boots in this video. We've got some other soccer products as well. But these are a combination of a basketball trainer and a football boot. They are the Predator 19s. Um, it's all to do with this um, ADV launch of the Predator line looking to the end of the Predator 19 and into the Predator 20 collection It has that mania vibes on the toe box there It's more of a printed on graphic on the leather of these than an actual um, mania Swerve element now the other ones I'm putting in with these are another pair which are a little bit unusual in the same Predator ADV release These were tied in with the manias the red manias that came out and these have got an ultra boost sole So these are a trainer, but they've got a football boot upper so it is ultra boost as I say they've got a leather upper um, which is really soft really comfortable the Adidas three stripes on them they look just like a pair of old school predators they've got really nice mania elements on these you can see those but why would you need them on a trainer you're not going to play football in these it's a shame really I'd love to see a five side version of these they've got the lovely velcro tongue on these really classic look but just no functionality all right so we're looking at number nine now in the list and these are certainly a bit different. These were a release from Adidas, tied in with the movie coming out for Spider-Man. So they're the Marvel Nemesis 19 Plus, the Spider-Man edition. And I just love the graphics that they've put over the top of these boots. Adidas have really gone kind of out there with a lot of their Nemesis this year. Um, and these are one of the better pairs, I think. The only player that wore these was um, Serge Gamry at Bayern Munich. Um, but they look awesome. It has the Spider-Man text on the side there it also has those kind of um, the eye logo as well overall a really nice release and I think these are probably some of the nicest boots you're gonna see in this video some of the other ones you might see in this video are gonna be a bit out there but also there's gonna be some things that aren't boots as well the best thing about these boots is probably that gold sole plate it looks so nice at the front there but also the blue is really nice on the back as well that torsion system that you see on the nemesis and they've just gone and highlighted the three stripes of that little bit of gold as well so overall a really nice release actually these and I think if you can Considering the Nemesis, these are one of the better ones that you could grab through the year. They might even be available discounted now. Some places may have stock of them still available. In at number 8 in our list, we're looking at a limited collection release from Adidas. And in fact, I can tell you it's going to be two limited collection releases. Because these are kind of tied together. So the first ones we're looking at is the X50.6. Now, these are on the X19 soul plate. But the upper is based on the tunit. The um, x 50.6 tunit that came out or the f50.6 tunit i suppose it was at the time these have the similar upper and the lace cover that the originals have but on the modern sole they're a bit of a clunky one actually i can't really see many players wanting to wear these on pitch it's quite a plasticky feel to the upper the design looks awesome but the tunit itself wasn't massively um, successful at the time they just were a, a good idea but it just didn't quite work out and it's kind of what happens with these as well. Now, a pair of boots that actually do work out quite nicely are these, the X99 um, or the X99.1 that they were. Now, they kind of marketed as the 99 gram remake, but they are not light like that. They look that way, but they do not have um, that really stripped down weight, which actually is quite a good thing. They're going to last you a lot longer. I think Lucas Mora wore those in a game for uh, Spurs. And they're based on that floaty like concept, but I think these are way better than the 50.6s that we just looked at in um, kind of releases that Adidas brought out. In at number seven, we're looking at this box that we got. Now this came in from New Balance, and I really love that. It has like, you open it up and it looks like something in the top, but actually there's nothing there. Then it has a secret drawer at the bottom, and this was uh, sent to us to coincide with the launch of the Tekla um, 2. So an updated version of the Tekla, um, these ones are the ones with uh, the silver upper, very nice. Now, number six in our list, we're looking at something which is disappearing come the end of December 2019, and that is the Adidas Glitch. This is one of the definitely crazier out there skins that they brought out. There's been a lot of wild skins for the Glitch. But the Glitch itself is that outer skin, and then you can see the inner skin that's down on the bottom. These were the number skin based on the Mexico 1986 World Cup logo, and yeah, they're just crazy. You can see the 86 kind of blended in there, but otherwise the design is wild and out there. Combination of the green, the black, and the red. All right, now these are something a little bit different, a little bit strange, but also quite normal. So if you look at these, they look like a normal pair of Puma Futures. It's got a nice kind of minty, fresh look to them. Now the weird thing is these came out just before Puma released their updated Puma Future 5. 
but also they've got this Thinsulate insulation in them. And they brought out not just the, um, the Futures, but also the ones as well that you can see here. But they're boots designed to keep your feet warm. Timing's a little bit stranger than them. The concept's actually quite good. If you're playing in like Finland or Denmark or Scandinavia or something like that, it's a good idea. Keep your feet warm. Now, this is another interesting unboxing we've got for you. These are a pair of specs. Um, they're their illusions. And you look at the carbon fiber on the sole plate of these. It's really nice. Anyway, we got these in. These are relatively cheap, but they're actually a really great boot. Kind of, they've gone with a collar on these. It has a kind of like predator kind of um, vibe to the upper of it. Just with that kind of control element, but mixed in with the Superfly as well. The Illusion 2, it's a really interesting boot just to see what other brands are doing. It's great to get something in different and they're relatively um, inexpensive for what they are as well, especially on carbon fiber. They're only running at about £60. Now, before I get into our top three most unusual unboxings, I want you to show this. This is definitely unusual. It involved a whole bunch of boxes and I went ahead and I made some football boots art. So really quickly, I'm going to show you what I did. Just cut up a few boxes, took out the best bits that I could find, put them onto some backing, glued them down, then used some uh, sock tape or some electrical tape to put in between the pieces. And this is what it looked like. So you've got the Predator box on there, Anti-Clog, Umbro, Adidas, Nike World Cup box. What do you guys think of that? All right, number three in the list, and these are actually a pair of boots that were worn by a player in the Premier League. They were worn by Eric Lamella at Tottenham Hotspur, and they are based on the EA Sports Anthem game. Now, these were connected to one of the characters in the game called the Ranger, and they were made by Oravan Designs. Um, I'll throw up some pictures in a minute of Lamella wearing them on pitch, but these have been hand-painted, absolutely stunning. Um, and just so unique. They're definitely unusual and that's why they've made it to number three in our list. Um, the colours of these are really nice based on the copper 19.1s. Overall, like, just awesome. There's the lamella and the leaven on the side of it. You've got the EA logo as well and here's the on-pitch pictures of him wearing them in action in the Premier League. Just unusual for sure. Alright, so moving on to number two in our list. These are courtesy of the Boot Collector. These were a limited edition release they came out before the Tiempo Legend 8, but they weren't available to buy until after the actual releases came out. And it's just this camouflage vibe to them over the entire upper of the boots. It's a little strange, obviously, on a leather boot. Um, and look at the way the colors are weaved into the knit of the boot there. Crazy. Really interesting. Only a limited number of these were made available. It has that Tiempo is melded into these colors. They look black and white from a distance. It's not till you see them close up that you can see the other colors that have been put into these as well. Just like totally crazy over the sole plate as well. Such a unique, unusual pair of boots. I love these. I think these are fantastic. I wish that I picked up a pair myself. I just think they're just amazing. A limited edition release. Fantastic though. Certainly a collector's item. Well done to Boot Collector for getting his hands on a pair of these. Uh, please tell me your favourite boots in this video. The top five I'm going to put into a poll card and you can vote and say which you think you should have been number one. But talking about number one, let's move on and look at the number one most unusual unboxing that we have done this year. And I can tell you that it's not actually a pair of boots. We're going to be looking at some balls. So, there's two different balls that I'm going to show you here. They are both limited edition releases. So for 20 years, Nike decided to celebrate the um, partnership they've had with the Premier League and providing the match balls by bringing back limited edition ones. They came with um, a box and a little stand to go with them as well. And the two balls that they've released so far, the first was um, the GM Merlin and the second was the Nike T90 Aero Ball, the winter edition. So it's the yellow and the blue and that's what we're going to look at now i'll show you the uh, geo merlin next but i love this like it's such a classic release relatively expensive um, for a remake match ball but more of a collector's item than something to actually go play with this is the geo merlin guys let me know what you think of these should this have been number one in the list it certainly was really popular on our instagram make sure you're following us on there if you aren't already but guys thank you very much for watching go enjoy your football